you know, we can get so set in our ways mm -hmm. for such a long time that it's like to do anything else is strange and even taboo sometimes. But on the trail, it's nothing but change. So I decided that it was time to introduce some unpredictability into my life. I chose a through hike with more unpredictability than any other through hike. Seventy percent of the time I've been either slightly confused or completely lost. And that's just been a part of this adventure. I think backpacking is a really symbolic thing. And a lot of the lessons that are learned out here can be applied to regular life. According to my watch, it has been 25 days since I left Glacier, but the life I took a break from at home feels like it is years in the past. And then when I do go back to regular life, I feel refreshed and ready to work. I knew it was going to be hard, but I think I still underestimated how hard it would be. You know, you can't control everything that's going to happen. I think that's a really powerful part of the trail because you do have to let go. Understanding the unknown is not something that's scary. We're resilient people and you could figure out what to do. I've never done a multiple night backpacking trip in the winter, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not really sure. good place right now. Well, so far, all I can really say about this section is that it has been absolutely grueling. <sighs> I'm gonna lose a shoe in this. It's times like these that I find myself questioning what I'm even doing out here. My body hurts, and to be honest, I'm really not having a whole lot of fun right now. Then I think back to the past hikes that I've done that have been really hard. The only memories that come back are good memories. In a week or two, I'll actually find myself daydreaming about being back out here. It's trips like this that make me realize how much of a mental game this is. Of course, it's physically demanding, but that can be expected, and there's not a whole lot you can do about that. There is a lot that you can do about your mental state. When something is this tough, it's really easy to get pessimistic and you start to get tunnel vision just on getting to the finish line. And that's all you end up thinking about. And it makes the rest of the hike pretty miserable because the finish line always seems way too far away. I found that it's really important just to appreciate things as much as you can. Of course there's a lot of suffering involved, but there are a few things that you can do to alleviate that, and all it really takes is a change of mind. So it's been a humbling hike, but it's been pretty amazing too. Sometimes you end up having to deal with a gnarly bushwhack. Sometimes the best way to deal with that is to set up camp and deal with that shit in the morning. <laughs>